Hi again, my name is Rebel and I'm the Rebel Reseller and today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. I've talked about doing it for quite a while but in my Facebook group there was a question about Build-A-Bear. Um, she had seen, but the viewer had seen a listing uh, that was going to be like a yard sale type thing and they had tons of Build-A-Bears and she was wondering if they're worth it. They were $2 each, just for the info, um, which prompted me to go ahead and just go look in the Build-A-Bear comps, the solds, to see what's selling. I haven't done that in quite a while. There was, in the beginning, when I was a new reseller of toys, especially the stuffed animals, I did a lot of research where I went in exactly what I did today. I typed in something, went into the solds, and then just started seeing what was selling. But I don't do that very often anymore, and I should. And this project that I'm getting ready to start is going to kind of urge me to do it. So what I'm gonna be doing is um, picking a brand. And I did a video earlier last year that um, was some of my favorite vintage brands, but I think I'm going to focus more on contemporary stuff more on things that you probably can find at yard sales and just show you things that you could be looking for that are higher dollar, you know. Yes, I sell a whole lot of um, bread and butter. My bread and butter is like eight to $12, but this is just going to make us more aware. You'll see it, hopefully you'll plant it in your brain and the next time you see one at thrift stores or yard sales, you know, it might at least prompt you to go check comps on it because this information is current for right now, July 2022, um, but in three months or six months, it could be totally different. The market could be totally inundated with them and they lose value or they just have become harder and harder to find and they've gone up in value. You just, you don't know. So always check your comps. Um, before I watched this, I went back and watched Bolo Buddy's video. She did a video probably eight or nine months ago on Build-A-Bear, and I wanted to see, I had already put my list together to see if what she said in her top 10 or top 12 that she did, if they were still applicable to now, and some of them were. So, you know, so some Build-A-Bears are always going to be things that you look after, but not all of them. And I tried to pick, I think, I picked only used ones, you know, yeah, there's lots of high dollar brand new ones, but we're not normally going to find them at thrift stores and yard sales and estate sales. All right. So, you know, I'm going to start with Build-A-Bear and then I might pick Dandy, Kelly Toy, um, Walmart, um, just Hallmark, all these different brands that I love to pick up and, you know, just not all of them are going to be like this. Most of these are a hundred dollars or more with one of them that's actually a th over a thousand dollars so not always is it going to be that way but definitely will be something that I start watching some of these I thought I've probably seen them and just didn't pick them up because my experience normally with Build-A-Bear is they don't sell for a whole lot with few exceptions um you know, especially the bears, and you're not going to see very many bears in this because they just, they're not high dollar. Now, I might do another video later on Build-A-Bear, but maybe keep it like in the, you know, over $50, but, you know, not all, not all of these high dollar ones, you know, because if you can get them at a yard sale for a dollar and sell them for 20 30 50 dollars you know to me that's excellent excellent i think i picked 30 some so i mean it's a nice large variety of things this first item i checked this sold um for 1700 dollars it is a Build-A-Bear Black Mustang. This also was featured in Courtney's video but i don't think it had sold for this much um but i went into Terra Peak to confirm 
yes, it actually did sell for $1,700. And there's actually two more that have sold in the last year, one for $600 and one for $609. So definitely, it must be really super hard to find. Definitely keep your eyes out for a black Mustang. Build-A-Bear. All right, and then this one is a Hello Kitty from 2010 tan. This one had on this shirt, but there were quite a few of these um, Hello Kitties that have sold. Not for this big. This one was an auction, and it sold for $1,000. I have probably seen this one. And even look here, and you're miss. It's missing the. There's always a little bow or a flower that in this little spot on its head and it's even missing that. All right, and then this was another Build-A-Bear, but this was the gray Mustang. Now, I'm not sure how many people realize when it has this mark through on there, that means that they took a best offer. You can go into Terapeak because all of these comps that I'm showing you are from the last 90 days. You can go into Terapeak and you can find exactly how much this sold for. It's just another step, but here is that exact same list, listing and it sold for $500. So that's how you can determine. Now on the rest of these, I've already gone in and checked to make sure um, that I give you the amount that it sold for. But I'll step back here real quick. So this is the gray Mustang. So definitely if you find a gray or a black horse that's Build-A-Bear, check the comps. I'm going to be definitely looking. All right, and then this is a Build-A-Bear. I don't know why I've got that all highlighted. There you go. This is a Build-A-Bear Patchwork Puppy Valentine's Exclusive. You can see these little hearts all on its face and on its feet. It sold for $725. Now, some of these, you can go into, I can't guarantee that these were paid for. I did look up the black Mustang. I went into the buyer's feedback and typed that information in and he had received positive feedback for that $1,700 sale. So, but that's how you go and check. If you really wanna know, not everybody leaves feedback. I'd say like one in five of my sales do I actually get feedback. So it's not a reliable way to determine if it they actually got paid for it but that is one way you can check or you can go in and see if they've relisted it but this sold for $725. Now there are quite a few examples of these Build-A-Bears that came from the St. Louis Zoo. I want to definitely be keeping my eyes out for that at the St. Louis Benz. Anybody in that area watch they all have this little tag right here on its neck, and it's from the Wild Card Institute, St. Louis Zoo. I'm showing you a few of the examples, but there were a lot more that I didn't show you because it would have just filled this all up. Um, so, Build a Bear, St. Louis Zoo, and this little white medallion. Definitely check because not all of them were like $580, but there were some that were. 200 and 300 dollars so my goodness um but this was a build-a-bear black jaguar it sold for 580 dollars and i did go into their feedback and um there was feedback from the buyer on this item and then this is a build-a-bear pink patchwork puppy this was from 2011 it sold for 650 dollars now this one is marked new. I thought I tried to remove all of the new ones, but definitely if you see these puppies um, that have the patch around their eye, check the comps. And then this one I believe was in Courtney's video also. So that means it's still a difficult item to find, but this was the Cherry Blossom Build-A-Bear. If you look on its feet down here, it's got little cherry blossom, a branch with cherry blossoms on it. This one sold for $300 when I looked it up on Terapeak, and it looks like two of them had sold. So I'm not sure if the buyer had two of them or it's just counting it as two. So 
I can't believe some of these prices. Now, as you can see, not very many of them have actually been bears. Um, this one is a South African exclusive Springbok plush. It's used, it sold for $650. And then this is another one from the St. Louis Zoo. Um, it was the Otter. I saw several of these had sold. Some of them had like a t-shirt on. This one sold for $450. Now, again, remember, this has been in the last 90 days. This one is a uh, Build-A-Bear Candy Corn Kitty Cat. I think the tail, if you look at the tail, it's got the candy corn colors, but then the tail looks like candy corn. It sold for $400. And there are quite a few of those that have sold also. Here's another one from the St. Louis Zoo. Um, this was a Monarch Butterfly. It sold for $475. And this one even had some flaws on it that they did mention. This is a Build-A-Bear Baby Panther with blue eyes. It's marked used even though it does have tags still attached to it. It sold for $450. This was a Build-A-Bear Yellow Poison Dart Frog. This one sold for $450. It was the only one that has sold in the last year, but there are only two others listed right now. I think it was like $400 or something like that, $300 to $400 were, they, were the two that were listed. So it's definitely something that's going to be hard to find. Courtney had this one also in her video. Um, this is a Build-A-Bear Downtown Disney Hidden Mickey Puppy. It sold for $245. Um, you can see it has the Mickey patch around its eye, and then it had Mickey Mouse symbols on its feet and its ears. This was, this was a Build-A-Bear Workshop Care Bears Grumpy Plush. There were several of these that have sold. This one, again, was new. I mean, used. This one was used. Um, sold for $349.99. Now, see, a lot of these I would just pick up because they look unique. You know? And at least check them. Courtney had this, I think, also in hers. This is a Build-A-Bear Workshop Giggly Piggly Pig Plush. This one sold on auction for $305. This is a Build-A-Bear Boorific Ghost plush. It sold for $200. Now there are other Build-A-Bear plush that um, are ghosts, but they don't look like this and they don't sell for it this much. But it's very cute. Halloween. It just seems a lot of Halloween plush do really well. Now, there were several um, in this series. This was the Build-A-Bear Sanrio series. This was the Choco Cat. He sold for $179.95. And then I think I also, yeah, the Ketopi, Ketopi Green Frog. This one sold for $150. And, and I noticed, I think this was the one, when I was doing my comp, comps on it, on Terra Peak, some people are selling it for like $50 because I don't think they're checking the comps thoroughly and realizing that, you know, it's a highly sought after and hard to find plush. But this one is 17 inches. I think the positive thing about this one too was that it had these clothes on. This I've known about. I've never seen one. It definitely is on my list of things I'd like to find. This is the Moon's Aglow Werewolf. I think there's several werewolves um, that are out, and I think they all do very well. This one sold for $199.99. Now, there were tons of Pokemon, so I just picked one. This was Vaporeon. But there was tons of others. So definitely, if you find anything Build-A-Bear Pokemon, check the comps. Because there were a lot that were selling in the $100 and $200 range. Um, this one did have its cape. Now, a lot of the Pokemon plush, I think, do have sound things in their hands. Um, so 
even like this one I think I saw had sold with a non-working sound box and it sold for like $115 so you know but this one sold um, at auction for $200 and Paw Patrol I picked one of them this one is Zuma it sold for $175 but I did see Rocky and I did see um, I think Marshall no the gray one I don't remember the gray one's name but both of them had sold that were over a hundred dollars also so build a bear Paw Patrol check it out and this this was a build a bear chihuahua dog there was only two that had sold and both of them were um, I think over a hundred dollars this one sold for a hundred twenty dollars I can honestly say I don't I don't see a whole lot of Build-A-Bears that look like real, the, the actual breed. A lot of times they're just colored dogs um, without actually looking, but this one is definitely a little Chihuahua. This, this one, I have coming, I have seen this recently because I found a Build-A-Bear black cat and I thought it was one of these I knew about this one but mine actually has a white mouth and not worth this this is the black cat with the orange nose from 1999 it sold for $175 Darth Maul Build-A-Bear um, this one did have a working sound box in it it sold for best offer of $100 there were only two of these and one of them said it was Australian so I'm not sure if this is something that you can only get from Australia I'm not sure but this one sold for $120 and then I Courtney did have this one also in her video so it continues to be a high dollar plush to be on the lookout for this was a buffalo bison um, I guess it was an exclusive and it sold for $145. And then this was, I'm not sure if he's made up all these words, the, the, the seller of this, but it says thylacine, Tasmanian, tiger, wolf, devil dog, plush from 2011. It sold for $133. This was a Build-A-Bear My Little Pony. There's tons of My Little Pony Build-A-Bear out there. Most of them are not worth much and a lot of times their mane and their um, tail hairs are a disaster. So I don't ever really even pay them any attention but now I need to at least be looking for this Macintosh Red Apple one because it did sell for $95 and it is used. And then this was a Build-A-Bear yellow happy birthday celebration plush. It sold for best offer of $100. Again, I got that information from Terra Peak. And then this was a Hello Kitty in search of my melody. Um, it sold for best offer of $100. There were quite a few of these listed. I mean, that had sold, um, but some of them had clothes on and so I just decided to pick one that was just probably how we would find it at a yard sale with no clothes. This was a Build-A-Bear Holly Reindeer Christmas plush with green feet. There were a few of these on Terra Peak. I just don't think people find them very often. This one sold for $75 best offer. And then this was a Build-A-Bear Build-A-Dino I'm not even going to try dinosaur plush. This one sold for $110, but I think it is like the only dinosaur that sells for big dollars. I've had the um, Brontosaurus. I've had the Triceratops. They do not. The, the um, Pteranodons, none of them sell for a whole lot, but this one must be harder to find. So just make sure if you see one of these, this is the one that has those nubs on the back of its head right there and I believe most of these are like the full size plush all right last one oh 
this one. Actually, Courtney featured this one in her video, but this is also one that I have sold before. As you can see, mine is the top one here. Back in December, after Christmas, I sold mine for $89.96. I think back, Courtney had it on her video about that time um, where it was selling in that time, that, that dollar value. But now if you look, as you get like May here, it sold for $69, um, $64. So the price is coming down a little bit. But then you've got these people here who sold it for $40 and $35. They probably did not look at the comps. So the price is going down a little bit. Um, but still, you know, it, that would still be an amazing find, especially if you can get it. I think I paid $3 for mine and I found them at the good, at, at the Goodwill, at Goodwill. Um, so, you know, just build a bear is one of those tough ones for the most part. They're not worth very much and they're long tail and they take a while. Um, they, they take a while to sell. I'm okay with that. I pick them up quite often, especially if they have clothes on. I'll go ahead and pick them up at the Goodwill outlet um, because I take the clothes off and sell them separate. And then I list them. I sell a lot, probably in the $8 to $10 range, but I don't do free shipping, so the buyer also pays shipping. All right, so I think this is going to be fun. I'm, I think I'm going to pick something like real generic. Kelly Toy but don't do Squishmallows um, or Dandy or something like that. Something that we see tons of, but I think you'll be surprised at some of the, um, even in those brands, you're going to be able to find some relatively high priced um, plush. All right, this is my second video today. Sorry if you see back-to-back -back videos in this worn shirt, but I've actually got one more video to make today. So Sundays are when we do a lot of our videos so that I can focus on getting everything listed and everything during the week. All right. I'll see you guys. Get to work, right? Bye.